Welcome back. Poland's education minister says his nation should copy Hungary's controversial law that bans schools from teaching anything about homosexuality. The recently passed Hungarian law has been met by outrage in much of Western Europe, but some conservative Central European politicians are praising it. Here's more now from CNN's Issa Suarez. On the banks of the Danube River, the striking Hungarian parliament was built more than a century ago. Another era that some say is better suited for a bill that just passed inside of it. The bill which erodes gay rights in a country where there are already precious few passed with almost no objections inside the chamber, but plenty outside. Last week, protesters filled the streets of Budapest to rally against the bill just signed into law by Prime Minister Viktor Orban. It outlaws any content available to children which portrays diversion from gender identity assigned at birth, gender alteration or homosexuality, effectively barring any discussion on the topic inside classrooms or even in advertising. Like this 2019 Coke ad, which was controversial in Hungary. This was all added to a bill meant to better protect children from paedophiles, making it difficult for lawmakers to vote against it. Leftist opposition parties boycotted the vote. To mix up homosexuality with sexual crimes is disgusting. Each abused child who fears asking for help because of homophobic or transphobic hatred will suffer because of those MPs who voted for this hate-provoking law proposal. Prime Minister Orban says the law simply states clearly that only parents can decide on the sexual education of their children, and the ban does not place limits on the content adults can view. European Union Commission President Ursula von der Leyen tweeted she was very concerned about the law, saying she believes in a Europe which embraces diversity, not one which hides it from our children. The government says it's not going to apologize for protecting our children. And Orban himself insists that criticism of the law reinforces the Central European conviction that today's liberals are in fact communists with degrees. I think it's a continuation of what we've seen in the past. This is straight out of an autocrat's playbook. It's part and parcel of the erosion of the rule of law and the sustained attack on human rights in Hungary. Gay people in Hungary already cannot marry or adopt children. But it's not just Hungary clamping down on gay rights. Last year, some Polish towns declared themselves LGBT ideology-free zones and a 2013 law in Russian banned so-called gay propaganda. In Russia, we had groups that built themselves as anti-pedophile groups who targeted young gay men, would subject them to harassment and torture, to film that and then uploaded that onto social media. I expect that it could have graver implications than the propaganda law in Russia. One more example of Hungary looking less and less like the rest of Europe. Isa Suarez, CNN, London. Well, I'm joined now by one of the leading politicians in Hungary campaigning against the homosexuality law. Clara Dobrev is a member of the European Parliament who plans to run against the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orbán in next year's national elections and joins us now live. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you for the invitation. So this bill was signed into Parliament last week. It's been widely condemned by human rights organisations. You've condemned it as well. Just describe how it came about and why there was so little resistance amongst those voting. Well, you have to understand that this is the basic of uh, the politics of Viktor Orban, who is ruling the country since 2010. Every time when there is an election coming, then he's pointing the finger in one of the groups or one of uh, the groups of people in order to hate them. This time, these are the gay and lesbian people, the LMBTQ uh, community. Four years ago, that was the, the migrants and the refugees. Then there was the European Union, George Soros. We, in Hungary, he always wants that people hate someone in order to divert the side of the politics or the topic of the politics from the real performance, what he's doing, because the performance is very poor. Uh, there's a great uh, deal of backlash in Europe over this law. Uh, some European leaders say Hungary should leave uh, Europe because uh, this law doesn't fit, because it doesn't fit in uh, with Europe's ideals. 
Uh, the Dutch PM even suggested that Hungary's uh, Prime Minister should trigger Article 50 to leave. Uh, you say this could be a turning point. Just explain why. Yes, uh, Viktor Orban uh, made a lot of steps in the last 10 years in order to weed out Hungary from the European Union. The only strong, uh, how to say, reason for him to stay in the Union are the EU funds, the subsidies that we receive from the European Union every year. And this is billion of euros or dollars, if I have translated. But now with the new regulation, the so-called rule of law regulation, uh, those funds can be stopped, especially when the governments, like the Hungarian government, is simply not obeying with the rule of law or with human rights, as in this case. So even this tiny reason for him, in order to expect uh, or accept the European Union's uh, regulation, is uh, well, going away. And it's clear that his focus, his political focus, is now towards Russia, towards China, towards Turkey, and not towards the Euro-Atlantic community or towards the Western democracies. That is the reason why the opposition united itself in order to really put an end to this nightmare. I'm having a, a little bit of difficult with, with the audio, but I just want to ask you a little bit more about that. So six opposition parties are uniting to run to defeat Prime Minister Orban uh, in the next election. Uh, this is a huge moment. Do you think this is your only way to defeat the Prime Minister? Yes, definitely. You have to understand that uh, the first step of Orban Victor in 2010, back in 2010, is to change the election law and to change it in a unilateral way, so without discussing it with anyone. So we know exactly that the elections are not going to be free, uh, free and they are not going to be fair. But still, uh, the different parties, liberals, social democrats, conservatives, please, they united themselves together because this is the only way how we can really um, defeat Orban. And now the united opposition is leading by several percent, uh, uh, according to the polls. That means that we are going to make some primaries. Uh, and, well, it's not exactly the same like in the United States, because it's not going to be a primary within a party, like within the Democrats or uh, the Republicans, but this is going to be a primary among parties in order to choose one prime minister candidate and one candidate for every constituency. And this is the way, technically, how we can uh, defeat Orban. And I really feel the power of the people. I think the huge majority of the Hungarian is simply fed up with Orban Viktor and his government. All right, Clara Dobrev, uh, candidate for Hungarian Prime Minister. Good to have you with us. Thanks for your time.